The typical beach day includes tanning under a scorching sun, building the tallest sandcastle, or skimming the ocean waves on a boogie board. This was not the case on Saturday, February 11th, but snow flurries and frigid temperatures did not stop a handful of dedicated volunteers from coming to Second Beach in Middletown, Rhode Island. Dave McLaughlin and 25 others founded Clean Ocean Access Organization in the summer of 2006. Although its primary goal is to bring awareness to issues regarding access to the coastline, it has expanded to water quality issues as well. Helen LeBlanc, 81, a Middletown resident, comes to many cleanups and thinks it is important to give back at any age. The grassroots organization tests the beach water every Thursday to monitor pollution. Newport resident Scott Wright brings his children Mia 3 and Fletcher 5, showing them how important the actions of the next generation are. McLaughlin, along with members Christopher Hayes and Michael Leroy, combed the brambles and brush collecting trash. At one point, Hayes picks up a red Budweiser can to find eyes staring back at him. A mole had burrowed inside. Not an unlikely meeting. Hayes notes that he has met many furry friends at the cleanups that occur in Newport, Jamestown, and Tiverton, as well as Middletown. The organization has no plans to become national, but occasionally partners with Surfrider Foundation and Save the Bay to educate and promote awareness for preserving the environment.